Today we're going to go over how to calculate a DSCR loan. DSCR loans are loans designed specifically for real estate investors who hold rental properties. These loans do not care about personal or business income. Does not matter if you're making money right now, just changed jobs, or started a new business. It does not matter with DSCR loans. DSCR loans focus on the income and expenses of a rental property only. These loans are based on what we call a DSCR ratio. It's a simple calculation comparing income to expenses of that one property. In simple terms, a DSCR ratio of one means the income and expenses equal each other, the break-even point. And this is the minimum for a good rate on a DSCR loan. Lenders take the income, which is the rent, and compare it to five expenses, mortgage payment, insurance, taxes, HOA, and flood insurance. Now we know all homes don't have HOA and flood insurance, but these are the things that go into a DSCR ratio. Let's look at an example. Let's say the income of a property is $1,000. If your mortgage payment is $600, your insurance is $100, taxes $100, HOA $100, and flood insurance $100, all those added up to $1,000. In this case, $1,000 for rents divided by $1,000 for expenses equal a DSCR ratio of one. Now from an investor's point of view, you break even, you're not generating any cash flow from this property. But from a lender's perspective, you meet the minimum requirements for a good rate on a DSCR because rents equal expenses. Now both you and the lender would like a DSCR ratio higher than one because it means the property is making money and not just covering expenses. So let's just say that same property has rents for $1,200 instead of $1,000. In this case, we divide $1,200 the rent by $1,000 the expenses and now we have a DSCR ratio of 1.2. This is good for you and the lender because it's bringing in more money than it's costing. The higher the ratio, the better the terms, and the better you have a cash flow on property. And yes, there are loans available for properties that don't break even. Just expect a higher rate. But we wanna make this simple for you